Hi guys and welcome to the um, Fury Warrior guide for 7.35. So in this video I'll be going through the um, AOE and the single target talents and legendaries you want to be taking for Fury. So I'll go into that now. I'll start off with um, single target. So the single target legendaries you want to be trying to get. I know it's hard to get them but this, these are the ones you want. You want to be taking the um, legs due to the rampage critical strikes against the primary target generate 6 rage. And obviously because you're going to be critting a lot. You're going to get a lot of rage off this, and it's just going to give you really, really good, good, uh, good rage. Next, what you want is um, Soul of the Battle Lord, due to the fact that you get Massacre as a free talent, which is down here. So it means uh, execute critical strikes, reduce the rage of your next rampage, so that when a target goes below twenty percent, you can literally do huge, huge damage. So you can just execute um, rampage, execute rampage. So it'll be really, really good. But start off with single target legendaries, a uh, single target talent, sorry. You want to be taking endless rage first, due to the fact that your auto attacks are going to generate more rage. So you don't want to be, if you don't take this, you're going to be rage starved a lot of the time. With Fury, you actually have quite a lot of um, rage all the time. And especially if we go down with Frothing Berserker, we want to try and hit 100 rage before we start using our um, Rampage and Raging Blow. Due to the fact that when you reach 100 energy, your damage is increased by 15%. So what you want to do is Fury is utilize this as much as possible. So you want to reach 100 rage still, you put still before you start using your Rampage and your Raging Blows. So you can get the full use and the full damage out. Once of single target again, you want to be taking Avatar. Due to the fact it lines in well if you uh, want to use Bloodbath and Avatar together. They tie in pretty well and you can pop all your CDs at the start and you can do big damage in the um, Avatar. Next one's down to you, but I like taking Bound in Stride so I can just leap around everyone and have a bit of movement speed. Yeah, and obviously take Frothing Berserker so that when you reach 100 Rage, your damage is increased by 15%. Next, what you want to take is Bloodbath due to the fact that it lines up quite nicely with your um, cooldowns. So that whenever you have Bloodbath up, you've got cooldowns to tie with it. So you can do really, really big bleed damage. Because obviously there's 40% additional damage that you deal. So it's really, really good. And obviously for your last talent, you want to take Reckless Abandon. Um, the main thing about Fury is you want to try and get Convergence of Fate, which drops off Elisand in the Nighthold. Literally any difficulty of this trinket will just be so overpowered for Fury. Due to the fact that Fury hits targets so much and uses so many spells, the Convergence of Fate is going to proc so much that Battlecry just has such a small cooldown, and you can keep using it and get 100 Rage and Frothing Berserker. But in case you don't have Convergence, it's still a playable, um, still a playable spec. So I'll just quickly show the um, the single target rotation. So uh, what you want to start off with before you go in, you want to pop Avatar, Charge, Battle Cry, so you have 100 Rage, and then start using all your cooldowns so you can get the bleed damage. So I use Bloodbath there, and as you can see, it deals big damage. So what people mostly do, which is what I see a lot of people doing, which reduces their DPS, is as soon as they see Rampage pop up, they use it instantly. This is really bad due to the fact that you aren't at 100 Rage, so it means you aren't going to get Froth and Berserker. And now you see I hit 100 Rage, so I get Froth and Berserker. And I can just hit really hard on the target. You want to use your Raging Blows when it's up. And as you can see, I have my Bloodbath up. So when I hit 100 Rage, Bloodbath, Rampage. So that target's going to be bleeding for a lot. And I can just hit him really hard. So I'm just going to use Raging Blow while it's still up. Because that generates up a lot of Rage. 100 Rage again, so I'm going to use Rampage. So you just want to make sure you're getting to 100 Rage as much as possible. And not just pre-coming as soon as you see Rampage up. So let it get up to full. Then Rampage. As you can see, I've got Battle Cry up. So before my next Froth and Berserker goes down, I'm going to use Battle Cry. So I'll get Froth and Berserker, increase my DPS. Odin's Fury as much as possible. So I see Bloodbath up, I'm going to use Bloodbath. 100 Rage, so I've got another Froth and Berserker. Obviously, with this tied into Convergence of Fate, with the amount of times you're hitting the target, you're going to get Battle Cry coming up. I've called down so many times. So you see, don't pre come, get to 100, smash. Use your Blood first as soon as it comes off cooldown. Blood first again. Uh, raging Blow, Raging Blow, Raging Blow, get to 100 Rage, then Rampage. With that Froth and Berserker, it's going to hit Mega Hard. So now you can see Avatar's back off cooldown. I'm going to hold it until um, Bloodbath comes off cooldown, so I can do really big damage. So I'm going to just get to 100 Rage, then use my Avatar, so it ties in well. So we'll have the increase of Froth and Berserker, and the increase of um, Avatar. So I'm going to Avatar, Bloodbath, Rampage, Odin's Fury, and then I'm going to use... Um, Battle Cry again, so I'll get 100 Rage for another Froth and Berserker. And now I'm just going to hit the target again, so he's bleeding. As you can see, he's bleeding for a lot, because I'm doing so much damage. So yeah, 
That's it for the single target for um, Fury. It's pretty simple. It's a set rotation every single time. But yeah, it's really, really fun if you're into melee classes. Um, I'll go into the uh, AoE talents and legendaries now. For the AoE legendaries, you obviously want to be taking the waste. If Whirlwind hits three or more targets, it hits them one additional time. This is just really, really amazing. It just does so much damage tied in with your Whirlwinds. And um, the next one's really down to what you want to have. A lot of people take the legs just for more rage so they can Whirlwind more. But it's really down, it's really down to you, whatever you prefer. So for um, AoE and like a Mythic Plus build, you want to be taking War Machine. Killing a target grants you 30% haste and 30% movement speed for 15 seconds. This is just really, really crazy. Whenever you kill an ad, you basically get a mini bloodlust. So on a fight like um, High Command, you can use that and just be steaming away. Basically, you've got to perm, perm a bloodlust up. And you'll just be doing so much damage. You can get off loads. Your GCDs will be going quicker, so you can just do way more spells. And it's just really, really good for you. Um, double time's good again, because obviously, you know, you generate rage when you charge. So you want to keep double time up. More rage, more damage. Next, you want to take out Avatar for Wrecking Ball. Because obviously, you're going to be doing Whirlwind a lot. And especially if you get a Wrecking Ball tied in with a belt, your um, Wrecking Ball is going to deal 250% increased damage. And if that hits again, it's going to hit for another 250. And it's just going to do really, really big damage. Next, for AoE, you want to take um, Bounding Stride. Obviously, you know, I take that because the extra movement speed. Really quick movement speed. Next, what you want to take is Carnage, so that you can Rampage even more, and you can just start smashing the target. Just even, even more. Next, what you want to take is um, Bloodbath again, because obviously when you pop that and it lines up with um, Battle Cry, Odin's Fury, Bloodbath is going to deal so much damage and so much dot damage. And obviously for your last talent, you always want to take Reckless Abandon. And obviously if you have Convergence of Fates, this will work a lot easier, because you can keep doing uh, Battle Cries. But yeah, I'll quickly show you the AoE. So if I just quickly charge. So I'm just going to whirlwind these guys. As you can see, I already got a prop. I'm going to use um, my battle cry. But when you rampage, as you can see, rampage. Rampage does damage to targets in front of you. So you, with your rampage, you want to try and turn it so it hits the most targets you can. As you can see, I'm just going to use rage and blow. But in the meantime, when you don't have procs of, um, of whirlwind, what you want to be doing is um, just using your normal rotation. So, as you can see now, I haven't got a proc yet. So, I'm just going to wait till I get a proc of my Whirlwind. Make sure my Rampage hits as many targets as possible. Use Bloodbath. Make sure I hit loads of targets. So, see, i got a crit, so I'm going to use it now, and it hits really, really big. Another crit. I'm going to use it again. Now, i got Rampage up again, so I'm going to try hit all the targets with it. Use Battlecry, Odin's Fury. It's going to do big damage, and Whirlwind. Rampage, so I'm going to use that again and hit all the targets. Keep using Whirlwind. Big damage. But yeah, obviously tied in with the waste, because I don't currently have the waste on this character at the moment. If you have the waste and your whirlwind's going to be hitting targets even more, you're going to do such, such big DPS. And it's why people like Fury so much, especially with the new animations and the way it plays and how fast it is. It's really one of the best, um, well, one of the funnest in my opinion. Melee specs to play, it's so quick, so agile. But yeah, that's it for the Fury Warrior Guide. Like and subscribe and check out my other guides if you want to see more. I've done one on basically all all the uh, all the specs out currently for DPS. And I may be doing some tank ones in the future. Comment if you want any other videos made and I'll reply to you. So see you in the next one.